Now, the future of an historic monument on the Sussex coast is now more secure. Shoreham Fort has been on English Heritage's at-risk register because parts of it were in danger of falling down. But now, thanks to volunteers and financial support, the first phase of renovation work is complete, as Mark Sanders explains. It was built to repel a French invasion, which never came. Shoreham Fort's real enemies have been time and the elements. When BBC South filmed here two years ago, the defences were crumbling. Now walls have been repaired and the first stage in a restoration project has been completed. Volunteers have helped secure funding and get the work done. It's absolutely brilliant. Obviously I've been working on this site now for nearly 15 years in total and to get here now, it's unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. I'm just glad now that we've actually given the fort back a future. English Heritage and Shoreham Port have helped pay for the latest work. Ada District Council is also contributing to the cost of pulling down the disused Coast Guard Tower on the site. An exhibition about the fort's history has opened at the Marlapins Museum in Shoreham. The fort was built at a time of suspicion. What exactly was lurking beyond the horizon? In the 1850s, uh, the government was scared stiff that the French were going to invade, and it was perceived as a real uh, and present threat, and they spent an enormous amount of money on forts like this all around the country. And Shoreham was a bit of a prototype. It's a, a vital national treasure uh, in terms of military architecture. Some of the restoration work was recently vandalised, but that hasn't deterred the volunteers. They've taken off their graffiti and are battling on to save this piece of history. Mark Sanders, BBC South Today, Shoreham.